your reading skills, Do Chinese is a great app to do so. They have tons of content of all levels and categories. You can see that at the bottom here. Let's do a quick lesson in the newbie section. When you click a level, you can see that there's a bunch of stories here, and most of them are for premium subscribers, but there's a few free ones available for you to try. When you first open the story, it's just characters, but you can change how you read this as you'd like. If reading just characters is too challenging, you can add pinyin, which will also help you with the pronunciation as well. Further, you can tap the top and show the line translation. You can see the first line up here is highlighted, and you can do that for the rest of the story. However, if you're looking to learn individual words, you can scroll and have it show you what the words mean individually. If there's a new thing you've come across, you can save it. Another cool trick is you can add the HSK highlight. As you can see, there's orange, in the top right corner says HSK1, and there's green, which says HSK2. This can be extremely helpful if you're studying for the HSK exam. All right, so we've seen what the stories look like. Now you can test your ability to remember the words. So as we've learned, it means Beijing. You can tap to show the meaning and a sentence example. You can click the green I got it button, but I advise you to go through the word information. It will give you, again, a sentence example, but for dual characters, it will break down what each character means. Bei also means north, and Jing can mean a capital of a country. So it's easier to remember what the character means when you know what both, both represent. Fun fact, you can click the Pleco button and it will take you to the dictionary app if you have it downloaded, where you can learn the stroke order. It's a really great resource to use when you're using Do Chinese, and I highly recommend you take advantage of it. As soon as you've understood the word, you can finish your test and show your word list where the, all the words are sorted. In Do Chinese, you can't sort by category, but it's a great reference for words that you're starting to learn or figure out. All right, I hope this was very helpful and you can use Do Chinese in the future to help improve your reading skills. Thanks for listening.